once again we have returned it is omi d with more or less Yo. another episode of omi d learns the odl experience hey man we had a very interesting show COVID 19 it was, it was yep. fun it's always fun to talk the vid with people yeah so much fun <laughs> so, such, such an exciting topic did, could you believe that COVID 19 was the most searched topic on google this year like that was they were like this is number one i was like i i, I i'm pretty sure that's a given and um i'm pretty sure the odl experience omd learns with COVID 19 is going to be the second most oh, yeah. uh searched oh, yeah. topic right, on google this year right now it's trailing vaccine by only a hundred votes. We had a couple of recounts in uh, in Georgia. We're waiting on those results to come in. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're talking about this podcast, like yes. us and what's going on. And I'm sure, I'm sure when we did the uh, the entire timeline over three episodes for the history of religion, like I'm sure that spiked, you know, with everybody watching and what's going on. And uh, you know, COVID's going up there. It's our it's our second season. Like I'm sure we're blowing up the same way that uh, we we are the pandemic. We are next year's pandemic. That's it. We are hitting everybody. We're going to be a household name. The kids are going to be talking about us. The wife is going to be watching us on Netflix and all kinds of YouTube and all kinds of stuff. Everybody's office is going to be buzzing, talking about the ODL experience 2021. Hello, it's the year. <laughs> um, well, today we're going to talk about something that uh, uh, it's pretty cool. I've learned a lot more about it. Like she's uh, about two miles away from me. Uh, we're going to talk about the Statue of Liberty. Ah, um, interesting. And and what a dirty, dirty girl she is. I heard that she's got got um, what do they put on on ankles when they don't want you to get away? And the, the she got <laughs> kind of shackles on her ankles. She's, well, she's not been moving very, very much for a while. Uh, I mean, she's she's been she's she's been there since 1886. So Fran, France brought her over to us, put her up, and uh, 1886. So she's she's there. She's uh, you know how big she is. Mm, how big is uh, that building right there? Right, right. That there. one, right, right there, yeah, there, right there. I think about about that big, big as the. The ball, the, the the reunion tower. I don't know how big that is, but I was. I don't know big. how big that is. She's so she's uh, the the equivalent of a twenty two story building. Oh, so yeah. that's so pretty, at, that's pretty nice. At eighteen eighty six, that was the uh, tallest building in New York City. So when she was first there, she was tall. Official name: Liberty Lighting the World, because she's uh, in honor of the U.S. being open and inviting to all immigrants from all around the world. Uh, you know, misinformation is funny because earlier in the year, there was something being spread across Facebook that uh, she was given as a gift since the United States freed the slaves. Huh? No, no, it's, uh, 1886 is about immigration, not a, uh, wow, interesting. Man, I'm telling you, it's, misinformation is everywhere, everybody. On Facebook. social media? Yeah, on no Facebook, way. too. No. Yes. I, and no, I mean, there, there's, there's nothing but, uh, credible sources coming from Facebook. I mean, nobody's grandma's on Facebook. Ah, uh, none, none. And Reunion Tower is 561 feet tall. So what's that like? Fifty stories? I get how many feet is a story? Well, I I I've always understood it as ten feet, but I know that you've got fourteen, sixteen foot stories. So I mean, sometimes you got the entry levels much more than ten. Uh, so I usually divide by ten and then knock off a few more. So five hundred sixty feet, I guess, was fifty stories. Um, how close am I? Let's see. I got the, I got the right answer because when you're always looking for the right answer, you want to go to Google. Google is your friend. Google will tell Why you wouldn't exactly it be? what you're looking for. So next time you're confused or you have an argument with your dad, go to Google and prove him wrong. Forty stories. The reunion Tower is forty, 40 stories okay. tall at fourteen oh. feet per story. Yeah. Yep. That 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 makes sense. It's it's so funny when people think that Google's not a uh, Google just searches the internet. And then it's up to you to be smarter than than reading what you're looking at. It's 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 amazing. Or learn how to search better. So I mean, 
how tall is this building? Well, Google's not trustworthy. I'm like, well, it's a search engine. How is it not trustworthy? <laughs> Google, Google told me that there are seven spikes on her crown that symbolize the seven oceans of the world. So she's, she's ultimately the symbol of the American and French alliance that happened during the American Revolution. Because oh, if you've yeah. seen Hamilton, you've got the French guy who's like, I got your back. He goes back home and, you know, they send us the statue going, hey, thanks for this. Like a symbol of, hey, look, the French won a war. We're like, as the American Revolution. They're like, but we won. We're like, you were part of it. Mm -hmm. But the French trying so hard to have, uh, to have won something. How do you ship a 22-story, excuse me, woman on a ship? Carefully? I, don't, I didn't look that up. I'm sure I can Google that one up. I mean, she's she's made of copper, so it's going to get heavy. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a whole lot of uh, copper. So it's the same copper that you see in pennies. Mm -hmm. And she's only as thick as two pennies back to back. Only as thick as two pennies back to back. Yeah. So two pennies back to back is how thick her copper coating is. Um, so the the guy who designed her, mm -hmm. uh, Bartholdi, he he designed her after his own mom's face. Like he's like, really? Oh, what woman is in my life that I can? Ah, oh, mom, we'll do this. So that's but his the, mom. Yeah. How cool is that? Is it? It's kind of cool. It's like a, it's almost like like a big up yours, like, uh, or like just the biggest homage, like my, who's that? When you come to America, like who's that? She'd be like, oh my god, that's me. I'm the Statue of Liberty. Oh my god. Or maybe this Bethaldi guy had like seven girlfriends, and he's like, um, okay, so these seven spikes on her crown is for the um oceans, mm -hmm. not for all of you, <laughs> and he can't decide which one to to. Uh, design her after so he goes with mom bingo always Bam. win uh, but it was built by uh gustav eiffel the same guy that built the uh the eiffel tower so uh, classy guy he does good work was the eiffel tower designed and built before the statue of liberty i yeah i'm pretty sure yeah uh, yeah Gust gustav eiffel yeah, I'm not even going to look that one up. I'm going to go, yes, yes, final answer, lock it in. I'm not phoning a friend or anything. <laughs> uh, Eiffel Tower was built before Statue of Liberty. I would have to uh, say so. It looks like it is. But when she showed up, because she's, she's copper, just like uh, uh, the original pennies, she showed up. She was copper when she was put up on her pedestal to stay there for decades and mm -hmm. centuries. She was copper. When they first put her up, she was brown. Wow. So she was a black woman? A, a person of color, yeah. Wow, look at that. Amazing. <laughs> oh, it's like our vice president coming up. So, yeah. Female yeah, except, pe except people are able to um, pronounce her name, that's Statue true. of Liberty. That's true. Everybody just... But you know what? I guarantee in the next four years, everyone will learn how to pronounce her name. Cheers. I don't think she's worried about it. <laughs> I don't think she's insulted by anyone, whether they know how and are doing it on purpose or if their racism is just showing for no reason. I just go Biden and Harris. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It sounds like a like a, a detective group from the '80s. That's uh, they ride around in a cool car, and you know they wear the cool sunglasses. So. Yeah. And then they've got the uh, the button down uh, shirts that are unbuttoned, so you can see the like graphic T underneath it, yeah. but the like flash, yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's roll, Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so she was copper when she showed up, but now she's green. Ooh, yes, yes, she is green. A lovely. She's a. She's oxidized. Have you ever had a penny that you found somewhere and it's just turning green in spots? Yeah, I normally find those in the country, like near a lake or something, like a pond when we're fishing or something. For sure, especially like salt water, wind, all the things that are around New York Harbor, those are the things that are going to oxidize the copper and turn her green. So it's it takes 30 years for her to turn green. And actually, the New York caretakers, when it started, they investigated what was going on and they took little pieces of it and sent it to labs. They're like, 
hey, why is this stuff turning green? <laughs> and guess what answer they got? Because it's copper. Because it's copper and copper turns green. Um, and why they don't know or why they didn't know, I don't. Because the French artist knew. He even had sketches that were in copper and in green because he knew that it was going to turn green. Because if you've ever seen the roof of something that's copper, the temples and buildings and everything where they've got those green roofs that's yeah. copper and it's intended to turn green that's and it's a beautiful green like that's mm -hmm. an amazing green and so i think the coolest part about it is it oxidizes and it's not really and you might correct me if i'm wrong it's not really breaking down as someone would look at it, something like that happening with oxidation no, it's not like rust. So, so I, I realize that um, I, I pitched this as the filthy Statue of Liberty, where if you went and polished her, if you went and polished this copper, if you gave it a good spray down and a rub down, you could get that copper color back, but that would not be good because that's going to open up the copper to actual rust and break down and she would not be doing very well. So that uh, oxidation oxidation is called a <laughs> patina um, and it's actually there to protect her and it protects her from the elements it is the reason why copper can be so thin and be out in the elements and help her out so any petition that you see to clean the statue of liberty say no because it'll tear her apart do they really uh, have those in new york Oh, I, I, oh, no, not here. I think people understand. I've definitely, in, in, especially in researching this, uh, I've definitely <laughs> seen people like, well, they should, um, you know, clean her and polish it up. I'd love to see what it looked like originally. I'm like, that's such a bad idea. This is her armor. That green oxidation, the patina is protecting her. Yeah. Um, yeah. The inside of it, they do clean, they do polish it because it's not open to the elements. Uh, but even one time there was a crack or, you know, how it's pieced together, mm -hmm. that the cleaning materials on the inside leaked through and there are permanent stains and streaks from the cleaning materials on her uh, left cheek and her right arm. Really? Yeah, so but cleaning her is a bad idea. When we say she's filthy, it's because she's more amazing that way. That's pretty cool. I had no idea. Have you actually been in the Statue of Liberty since you were in New York? In it, in it no. Um, the, the, the coolest thing that happened was um, I was riding my bike, and I went upon a park. I'm like, hey, look, there's a park over here. And uh, going through it, and turned out it was Liberty Park, and I had no idea. And I'm just going through Liberty Park. I'm like, that is the Statue of Liberty right there. And somehow I was dumb enough to have just be riding around aimlessly and, and made it there. I was like, wow. So I've been as close as you can get without um, um, getting on the island. Oh, man. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's pretty cool. Is so. Is it as amazing as they say it is when you see it the first time? It's a. It's amazing every time. I. I. I don't understand how how anybody'd ever get used to it. It's. Uh. It's absolutely incredible. If you get the chance to see her, uh, from any distance, it's. It's amazing. She's glowing green wherever you are, uh, just out there welcoming people into to New York. It's. Um. It's really a beautiful sight um uh, it's she's she's impressive and what's really cool is out there on that island all by herself and only 22 stories where you know the the manhattan skyline's not far away but there's no big buildings near her there's a big park that doesn't have any tall buildings there's the uh new york harbor which is leading out to the atlantic ocean there's no big buildings there so she will always remain just a giant right there with no big buildings to dwarf her and i and i think it looks really good standalone and I, I don't know i'm i'm a big fan um i realize i said filthy uh but that was to get people interested in why so she's not been cleaned and it's on purpose so do they sell like little statue of liberty statues out there Oh, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you, you get up around. Um, <laughs> there's can, Buddha. He's you, he's copper. He, can I get one? Can you get us a statue to sit next to Buddha up here? You need a you need a you need a Statue of Liberty. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's no good if you order from Amazon. You gotta. That's not the same. You gotta have someone that's been there and lived it. 
this is like look this is this is what i've seen so i was like you know what soon as this 19 is over with i'm up there i'm up there if you, if you ever come up here like i we're 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 leaving it's it's terrible it's it's sad but we've got big things coming up and really excited about what's uh what the next chapters are but we're we're, we're leaving the new york area um if you're ever up here i'm your guide like yeah. let's let's go i i realize that there's been people here much longer than me that are more official new yorkers but i've yelled at little old ladies on the sidewalk i know what it takes to be a new yorker <laughs> i've defended people on the subway and i've kept my mouth shut for hours and hours at a time i've got this oh man that sounds so interesting yeah i don't <laughs> want to go there without a guide i'd i'd feel like you know country mouse in the big city said what you say mister come this way <laughs> so it's nice to be over here in this sushi restaurant <laughs> so, the yeah. The food's amazing. Like I, I've not been to a, a restaurant that's bad, and I think it's because of the high rent. Like you can't afford to have a slow Tuesday. You can't afford to to have a bad day. You've you've got to raise your prices and raise your quality. Where it's just you know amazing food, corner after corner after corner. Sounds like a place that I would enjoy. You know, I'm gonna take a vacation to New York because once this, once everything is all settled and people can move around, like. They're free to move about the country. That is on the list of places to go. And, and I don't know how much time I want to spend there, but I definitely want to catch the Statue of Liberty. And uh, mm -hmm. you definitely want to catch the next episode of What's Going Down. Excuse me. No, I'm kidding. It's a different show. Uh, you want to catch... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that joke. Omi D learns with more or less the next episode we got coming up. What do we got next for him? Uh, well, while, while they're still in this episode, down below, you can, uh, any of those images we put up there, like those are available, like grab them, grab that link, click on it, read through the comments, leave us a comment, check out my terrible graphics and, and see what's up. Like, uh, we've got bones coming up and we're going to talk about where bones came from, why we've got them and why our body can't get rid of them. So then after that, we have one more episode and the season is done. Oh yeah. We got a. We finally got a full season. I. I, I mean, season one was a, a good season, but this is a full season. I. I. I like it. Um, but we're gonna get into. Uh, we're gonna finish the season with smart toilets. Poop. See, I told <laughs> yeah. you we tell you about poop. We'll be back with bones. <laughs>